Welcome back to yet another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you a repair. Now this video is specifically for beginner techs to show you the amount of work that goes into a full teardown for a frame swap on an iPhone. This particular iPhone is an iPhone 13 Pro Max and you will definitely see why it needs a full frame swap. Let's get into the video. Wow, we've got a doozy of a repair today. You can see how distorted and bent this phone is. And the good thing is, is it's still working as far as you can hear it receiving texts and calls. So that's good, but it definitely needs a lot of work. So let's get started. Grab a pendulum screw bit. Let's take out these bottom screws. And because of the condition of the screen, I'm not gonna worry about basically damaging it anymore. So I'm just gonna pop it off. Look at that corner, dang. Ah, the inside looks okay. Grab Y triple zero, take off the battery bracket. There's those three screws, the shield. You can disconnect the battery to turn it off and I'm gonna hold down the power button to drain the board of any residual energy. About 10 seconds, go ahead and disconnect the display. We've got one, two, tri-wing screws and one, two Phillips screws this shield. Disconnect the prox and there we go. Now let's start the long and tedious teardown. I'm going to start with the camera. We've got one Phillips up here. Switch back over to the tri-point. Got one, two, three, four screws there and then the shield comes up. Disconnect the cameras and pop that unit out. Moving on down to the charge port. We've got majority Phillips screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we can pop out the loudspeaker. Switch over to our standoff screws. And we've got one, two there. Disconnect and pull off the Taftic engine. And pull up this little shield that likes to stick on. And it also has the little leg that goes and clamps down. And then we have one, two more standoff screws. And now we switch over back to the Y triple zero for a couple of these horizontal screws. And then another Phillips in the corner. For these batteries, I'm gonna add some isopropyl alcohol. These pull tabs aren't like what they used to be. Remember the good old days with the uh, iPhone 5, 6 batteries? You'd pull on them and, I mean, they'd still tear, but they weren't like double layered like these where half of it comes, half of it stays behind, etc. And there it's finally coming. All right, one down. And the second one's also coming out nicely. Mm -hmm. Third one's giving me a little bit more trouble, but it seems to be coming out. And just kind of that fourth one's so small, the alcohol will just get it right up for me. So. We've got two screws holding down this shield here. Let's get a sim popper and pop out that tray. Disconnect the flex cable there. Switch back to our standoff screws. Let's disconnect all of the connectors that are still holding on to the logic board. Now we have the 5G antenna to deal with. And I just poke right through the black sticker here to get at these screws. So I know exactly where they are and then, it, then they just stay with the flex and I don't have to deal with them. There's another sticker that pins down these flexes. Yeah, just pull that up and then the whole board should come out. We have a microphone we need to pop up and out. And then another one on the other side. Ah, I almost forgot two screws that go in the bottom here. 
gonna add some isopropyl alcohol to help loosen up that flex. We'll gently grab onto it and slowly lift. And then it should just slide right out. Like that. Now I'm gonna be using a new frame. You can see that it comes with comes with a few things pre-installed. A couple of the flexes that are kind of annoying. It doesn't have the port, so we have to transfer that. We need to transfer over the uh, the sensors here, but it does have the flash, the mic. It makes our job a little easier. Now at the top, we've got one screw here, two, and then this large standoff screw. And under this guy, pull him off. We've got another standoff screw. Now the speaker will come finally out. And so will the front facing camera assembly. We have one, two, three tri-wing screws, a bracket, and pull that sensor away. Now sometimes this has glass shards. You want to make sure you get those off. Those are, oh, that's a shard of glass. The rest of these are more paint than anything. Still gonna make them disappear. And now I'm just gonna quickly compare side by side to make sure I'm not missing anything. Now one thing I just noticed is there is a screw right here. Everything else looks good. We just need to remove the bracket for the 5G antenna. And then there's also this one at the bottom that I missed. It's holding down that part from flying out during shipping, but it can't be there as well. So otherwise we are looking good. Go ahead and start the uh, reassembly. I'm just going to go in reverse order. We'll put back the one, two, three driving screws. We'll put back the front facing camera assembly. Push in the ear speaker, nice and snug. Switch over to our standoff screw bit. Grab the big one, put it back. The little one, put it back. Bracket there with that one screw. And the other right there. For the charge port, definitely I wanna pull off these blue stickers before we forget. And I'm gonna realign this one. And grab our charge port, slide it on in. And let's really cinch it tight with the two bottom screws. We'll put back the standoff screw here, along with this one. We'll put back these two standoff screws. Put back the Taptic engine there. It's screw. Now we can stick in the loudspeaker. Right, let's make sure that microphone's lined up first. And I almost forgot this little screw down here. Now we can put the speaker there. And let's put back this bracket and it's three screws. Now we'll take the motherboard, get all the flex cables up and out of the way, and go down and start to connect all of the connectors. And get the antenna down there as well and pull back over that sticker, connect up the charge board. Power button, NFC, volume flex, the antenna for the bottom. Let's connect in the 5G antenna. And we can put back the screws. Peel off the back camera sticker. Stick in the back camera assembly. Connect up the cameras. We'll get our standoff screw bits and put back the standoff screws. Got a bit of adhesive on the bottom so that we can secure this in. Take our bracket with the rear camera. We'll put back its five screws. All right, I've got the display on a heating platform to help get off the proximity sensor. We'll take off the three, the three screws with this bracket. And I'm gonna add some isopropyl alcohol to help it along. Nice and slowly, gently pop off those other two sensors there. And we'll get our new assembly. We'll install the 
proximity sensor assembly. Get that sticker lined up straight. Now, if you want to see a video of me demoing the IC swap and IC transfer, like the video and leave a comment below and I'll get that done. I'm not going to assemble this screen with the adhesive around the border right now because it's needed urgently. Connect up the proximity sensor and the display. I'm gonna come back later, open it up when I have the time and do an IC swap on it. So like and comment if you'd like to see me film that. Switch up for to our Phillips, put back the two screws. We'll connect up our battery now. We'll line up the bracket. We have the one, two, three screws. I can install the top of the screen and put in the bottom two screws. And we'll turn it on. And there we go, all ready to go. And it's gotta go. So there you go. The key to making this a quick and successful repair is organization. Keeping each screw organized as they all have their own specific places. All in all, this should definitely take you less than an hour, but plan for an hour because there's always gonna be interruptions. Leave a comment below if there's something you'd like to see in a future video. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.